Hey guys, today we're taking a look at Plasma Mobile KDE on Manjaro on the Pine Phone. And I wanted to take another look at it considering it was only on post market operating system that we took a look before. And at that time it had a whole lot of bugs, and I was hoping some of them might have been worked out. And if not, that's fine too. So now we're going to take a look at our settings and we're going to try out Bluetooth first off. So I'll go ahead and hit Bluetooth and as you can see I have a Bluetooth speaker right here waiting and we're going to see if sound works for Bluetooth. So we'll go ahead and we'll connect it. Sounds like it connected. Now let's test out the audio on our Bluetooth speaker. And once you do that, after you have Bluetooth connected, you need to go over to Audio, then Configure. And what you'll do is you'll select your Bluetooth. Now, let's test out that sound. Front, left. It's coming out of the speaker, all right. Front, right. Okay, it looks like Bluetooth sound is working. That's great news for KDE Plasma users. Now, at the moment, I wouldn't call it daily driver ready, um, but... It's still beautiful to look at. It's nice to use. One of the issues here is we have the cellular having issues where if you go to access points, it already has it set and there's nowhere to change that setting. Now there might be a way to do it on the command line. I'm going to look into that because I'd like to see if I can get it working. So if I figure that out, I'll leave it in a new video or in the description or comments of this one if I solve that issue with cellular data. Now we're taking a look at KDE Connect. It's a program that you can use on your computer and your smartphone to remotely control your machines. So if you want to control your computer from your phone, if you want to control your phone from your computer, this is an option and it has some functionality. So let's take a look and see what it's doing at this current moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to find devices on our computer and we should see the Plasma Mobile showing up. We'll double click that and then we'll hit pair and as you can see popped right up on my Pine phone. Will I accept this request from my computer and of course I'm going to hit accept and then we get an entire list of controls for the phone that pop up on the computer and you can then try to share a file for example you can see if you know lock device works and we can take a look at that and see if that actually works and it doesn't look like it's actually going to work. Oh, actually, look at that. So it does. Another cool thing, as you can see, the lock device actually did work. Now, another thing you can do is control playing videos and media. So as you can see, it says Tesla Model 3. But is it going to play on my phone? No, it's actually going to play on my computer. So let's go ahead and open up the window, and then let's hit the play button here and see what happens. And quick turns around these lights. So as you can see, now the turning radius everything I'm doing is controlled from like the phone and you can do the same with the computer to control is, that phone. Uh, well, it's impressive. Uh, sometimes so I'm going to hit pause now size. and as you can see that worked as well. Now we're going to use our pin and unlock the Pine phone again and we'll go back to KDE Connect. Okay, and we're going to take a look at some of the controls here. And let's, t let's send the phone a ping and see what happens there. Ah, as you can see, a ping was sent. So as you can see, KDE Connect does have functionality. I wanted to demonstrate this for you guys. And unfortunately, as I mentioned, there are some bugs. So like, as you can see, it's not loading entirely in that window here. So that's a little bit annoying, but you know, 
it is what it is. It's a beautiful interface though, and I think it's going to be great for working with different machines together. So I'm excited to use KDE Plasma, and I'm going to continue to check it out. I haven't checked this out in months. I want to try and only really demonstrate those operating systems again once they've made major progress. And in my honest opinion, KDE Plasma has made major progress since my last video. So not only can we lock our device, we can run commands, share files, use volume, multimedia controls, send a ping to make sure it's still online. This is all done remotely, by the way. You do not need a cord or anything else to hook up your Pine phone for this remote. And in fact, you can use a function called find device to make your phone play a sound. So say you have KDE Connect connected uh, remotely and you can't find your cell phone. We'll simply issue the find device and watch what happens with the phone. And if you heard that, that was KDE Connect sending a remote signal to get my phone to ring for me. And this will help you find your phone if you ever lose it. So that's a really useful function as well. There's actually some functionality. In fact, when I first tried KDE Plasma, there was no real functionality. So these things take time, but uh, as you can tell, you know, things do come through. You do get better functionality as you remain patient. If you use KDE Plasma, you can also report bugs. And the best way to do that is to try and find a way to reproduce that bug. Go on the Git page of the operating system you're using and report that bug in a way that the developers are able to repeat that bug so they can gather information on it. And this will help solve things and make it daily driver ready even faster. You know, as I said earlier, you can't change the access point for cellular. That's a bit of an issue considering the one that's default isn't working for me. So I'm going to look into a way to change that on my own using the command line. And we'll see if I succeed in that. And if I do, of course, I will leave the information in the description or in a comment. And if you ever need to check all the things you have open, you can hit that square at the bottom. And as you can see, I have three items open. I have the sensors open, and you can close it with the little X at the top right. So you have that. You can install anything you want. In fact, these two browsers I'm using, they didn't even come on the uh, KDE Plasma. I had to go install them. But there's a beautiful array of software over on the Manjaro repository. So you'll definitely find what you're looking for there. And you can definitely use this as a tablet for the meantime. It's worthwhile, and uh, I keep one on an SD card. I'm going to keep this Manjaro Plasma Mobile on my SD card, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that from time to time, update it, try and report bugs where I find them, and hopefully help with getting this to be daily driver ready in a, in a faster time frame. So I really enjoy this interface. I love the, you know, the flow of it, and it's a very clean looking interface and very easy to configure you know nothing's a mystery here it's got auto rotate here as you can see of course it's not perfect as i mentioned we do have some bugs but it is still a beautiful operating system and it's something uh, i want to take some more looks at as i get it more functional that's what i got today guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was helpful to you and we'll be back later with more on the Python.